a father to many, a philanthropist to educators, a politician to the government, an investor to the economy, a benevolent to the masses. These are the many words that can be used to describe Mashud Apiola. In the world of sports, he is known as a pillar of sport in Africa. Chief Moshud Kashimawu Olawale Abiola was a Nigerian businessman, publisher, politician, and aristocrat of the Egba clan. He was the Are Onokakanfo, the 14th of Yoruba land. Abiola was a man who stood as a pillar of support for sports, and it is important to recognize his great and remarkable contributions. First, one must laud the federal government under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari for finally recognizing the right of the historical significance of this illustrious son of Egba land by setting aside June 12th of every year as a day to remember his struggles. He had a great adventure with sports as a participant and sponsor, holding a cherished belief in the potential of sports as the bastion of unification amidst human diversity. Abiola successfully ran Abiola Babes Football Club and saw it rise to prominence in the Nigerian football scene while also financing two other clubs, Concord FC and ITT FC. Abiola Babes played in Abelkota and were promoted to the Nigerian First Division in 1984. After a break in the 1990s, the team reformed in May 2000, but was disbanded the next year for lack of funds. Their last game was in the 2001 Challenge Cup against Nipost FC. They won the Nigerian FA Cup in 1985 and 1987. Some talented players like Tajuddin Disu, Dominic Yofa, Muda Lawal, Best Ogedengbe, Yisa Shofoluwe, Rashidi Yakini, Friday Ekpo, amongst others, all played for Abiola Babes. He also supported his late wife, Symbiat, to bankroll a female football club, Kakan for FC. Chief Abiola headed the Presidential Monitoring Committee that worked on the improvement of the country's sporting facilities on our way to hosting the World Youth Championship in 1999. Abiola won the All Nigeria School Athletics Championship Awards and the Middleweight Amateur Boxing title in his youthful days. He utilized his business proceeds in sponsoring various sporting activities in Nigeria and 14 other African countries. Moshu Dabiola steered a committee that raised funds for Nigeria to participate in the USA 94 Olympics. He also supervised the construction of a gymnasium in the National Stadium in Lagos. Unknown to many, Abiola was the sole sponsor of the African Footballer of the Year Award. Chief M.K. Abiola was awarded in 1980 by African Sports Journalists Union, ASJU. He was also a recipient of the CAF Merit Award in 1992. Bashonru Mashud Kashimau Olawale Abiola, the pillar of sports in Africa. Your legacy lives on. Udoka Njoko for Plus TV Africa.